I figured it's been a while since I'd done a list involving something with Smash. So I thought, why not talk about the most powerful attack in the game? You know what I'm talking about. The final smash. Now I decided to break this list down into two separate parts. The first part I'll talk about the five final smashes that I thought were the best. And in the second part, I'll talk about the five that I thought were the worst. Now, even if I play as the character or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is how well designed or horribly made these final smashes really are. Now remember, this is just my own personal list. So, make sure to leave a comment or make a video response if you have your own difference of opinion. I'll be looking forward to it. We'll start off with the five that I think are the best Final Smashes. Ike's Great Ether Attack lands right on the number five spot. He lands multiple hits, causing massive damage, and then sends the opponent flying. After landing all those hits and that massive blow at the end, there's only one word to describe how you feel after using that attack. Satisfied. Not only that, but it's just so awesome just to look at him attack the opponent while they're trapped. Yeah, Link and Toon Link kind of do the same thing too, but Ike has the ability to trap three people at once. The only reason it's not higher on the list is because the range to make it work is so... Low. When you see someone else get the smash ball, there's only one thought that comes into your mind immediately. Get away from the opponent as soon as possible. And that's exactly what you're going to think of when you see someone get Rob's final smash, the diffusion beam. The reason why you want to get away is because it only works in such a short range. But if they got you, you're as good as dead. Now not only is Rob invincible, He's also incredibly powerful, and he doesn't have to press any buttons to make his attack work. And it can last a pretty long time, so it's a pretty good final smash. Ness and Lucas's PK Starstorm lands on the number 3 spot on my list. All you can really do when you see this attack go off is side dodge and dodge in the air like crazy. There's really no other way to defend yourself against this attack. It's random and goes anywhere. It covers up the entire stage. Best of all, you don't even have to plan this attack out. As soon as you get it, you can use it right away. Second place. Shooting stars is one thing, but when you see a tank enter the brawl, you know you gotta get out of there. You can edge dodge and fly as much as you want, but it's not going to save you if somebody knows how to use this Landmaster tank to its full potential. It has a powerful cannon, it can run you over, it can fly you off the screen. It has three different ways to kill you, and it's practically invulnerable to anything. The only reason it's not the best? It's shared by two other characters. If you just cringed after hearing that, chances are you've probably been on the receiving end of that attack more times than you care to count. And you hate it. Because it's just that good. He's flying around at supersonic speed. All he has to do is touch you, and you're pretty much dead. If you're at 0%, it's only going to take about 3 to 4 hits before you're finally dead. It has great speed, great knockback, can't die while using it, and lasts a long time. The only drawback is trying to learn how to control Supersonic. But once you finally got the pattern down... There's no escaping. Well, those are the five that I think are the best Final Smashes in the game. And here are the five that I think are the worst. For a while, Congo Beat was actually going to be my fifth spot. The main reason because when there's lag online, can't get the beat down. Offline, on the other hand, I've actually seen it been put to good use. The fifth worst Final Smash I'd have to say would be the Ice Climber's Iceberg. If you're going to rely on this to get you any KOs, or even to cause massive damage, you better think again. To be honest, it's really only good when it's distracting the other opponents. That's it. Not even the Ice Climbers can stand or walk on top of this thing. They have to jump over it. Fourth. 
Okay, I'm main Lucario, and even I admit this final smash is really, really flawed. He jumps to the top of the screen and fires off a huge beam. The problem is, the beam takes forever to move, and characters that can have multiple jumps can easily dodge it. By the time this attack actually catches up to them, it's already worn off. If they could have made it a little bit faster, this would have been a really good final smash. Speaking of very easy to dodge final smashes, Puff Up just doesn't seem that much of a threat. It's a very easy to dodge attack. Once you know when it's going off, just run away from it. It couldn't be that easier to avoid. For the record, I have no problem with Jigglypuff being in the game, just its final smash. The only thing that's dangerous about it is if somebody uses it as an edge guard, or if you touch it while it's deflating. Known by another name, Waddle Dee Army has to be one of the worst final smashes in the game. At first, it sounded like a good idea. You summon an army to go out and KO everyone, or at least cause some damage. But this attack is just so easy to dodge. Not to mention that it's... I've rarely ever been KO'd by this attack, nor have I ever seen anybody actually get KO'd by it, even from the Gordo. But even so, it's not the worst Final Smash I've seen in the game. Here's the worst. Peach Blossom has to be the worst Final Smash in the game. It works by putting your opponents to sleep, leaving out a bunch of Peaches to let Peach restore her health, and then maybe get in a couple of good KOs. To be honest, I think this would have worked better as Jigglypuff's Final Smash. The reason why this one is just plain worthless? If a character can stay in the air, they won't fall asleep. And then they can restore their health taken from the damage of the Final Smash's effect by eating the Peaches. Not only that, I've actually seen this work against Peach. You gotta wonder why they didn't just come up with any other kind of Final Smash for anything else. Why not just summon an army of Toads or something? On second thought... No, no, that actually would've been better than this. I take that back. An army of Toads would've been better than this Final Smash. Well, those are the five Final Smashes I believe are the best, and the five that I believe are the worst. If you have a difference of opinion, cool, leave a comment or make a video response.